Hey everyone, I wanted to say hi. Uh, first and foremost, this video is about the Kalispell Grease Monkey off of US Highway 2 in, in Montana. Uh, and it also is related to using your platform uh, and also just preventative maintenance in life. And so, first and foremost, uh, I just want to say a couple weeks ago, uh, I wasn't asked to give this plug, but I was inspired to this morning to, uh, when I woke up. It was just flooding my mind with just how, how awesome uh, this act uh, that was so general uh, was was so positive in its nature, and and my buddy Garrett, he he manages the the Grease Monkey in Kalispell, Montana. So anyone that sees this video, please pass it along to anyone in Montana, uh, because uh, those there's a new Grease Monkey as well, but I've never been to that one. But both of them deserve your business, and the reason I know is uh, Mike Murray runs the one that's brand new, a wonderful, positive, uplifting individual. Um, but my best friend Garrett uh, runs the other one off of U.S. Highway Two. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, you know, uh, with so much uncertainty and fear that's being pushed out in the world, Garrett used the reader board at the Grease Monkey to post a really positive message. Um, he didn't share that with me. Uh, his father did, and and they didn't they didn't share it with me to get recognition. It was just one of those, hey, you know, your buddy did this, and I'm really proud of him. And and it was one of those things that struck my heart, and I and I woke up with it on my mind this morning, so I wanted to share it with all of you. Um, when people go get their oil changes, there's a lot of stigmas about being upsold and, and you know, you're recommending stuff that I don't need. And if I'm a woman, um, if I'm a, uh, sorry, I was getting a phone call. If I'm a woman or a young woman or a single mom, I'm going to be taken advantage of. And you know what? There's truth to that in all, in all areas of life. And there is truth to that in the oil change industry because I have seen it before. Uh, I would say to trust Garrett uh, with everything as far as your car because I've never, in the five years I worked with him at the at Grease Monkey in Washington, I've never heard him um, lie to a customer or, or embellish something so that way he can get a sale. I know that in his heart he'd rather forego the sale in order to uh, build a relationship so that the customer will come back, continue to do oil changes. Uh, that being said, uh, you need preventative maintenance on your car. So I just want to clear some things up is, is that, you know, when you become a father um, and you have children, you care about people's safety. You care about, especially women and children, it, it holds a dear place in your heart that you want them to be safe. So yes, you're going to recommend tire rotation so you can evenly wear the tread on your tires. You're going to recommend preventative maintenance things like, uh, um, you know, like wiper blades and and transmission flushes, power steering flushes, coolant flushes, whatever it may be. You're going to recommend it because in any system, especially a, a, a vehicle with a motor, uh, with all these moving parts that need to be lubricated, you want to prevent the part from breaking down prematurely. Eventually, you know, a check engine light may come on. It's just part of life. But in life, there's, there's preventative, ma preventative m uh, maintenance measurements that you can take in anything. One of the most, uh, one of my favorite athletes of all time, LeBron James, him and Tom Brady, probably the, the longevity that they're both experiencing at being able to play at such a high level is due to the preventative maintenance that they take uh, for their bodies. Uh, if you want to have a great marriage, you're going to have to put work into it, right? And you're going to have to have preventative me uh, measures put into place. How much time are you spending with your wife? How much time are you spending with your husband and your kids? How much quality time are you spending together? How many times do you uplift each other and encourage each other versus fighting? So there's preventative maintenance measures, and those are just two examples, but in all areas of life. And so it's one of those things that, yes, you're going to be asked about certain things when you go in there, but um, he'll never pressure you because, again, he cares about f uh, family uh, so much and he cares about people just trusting him and wanting to come back because they feel like they're part of something bigger especially in a small community I'm not saying Kalispell small but uh, it's one of those things that you want to feel like a mom-and-pop shop and so in these times where people and businesses are struggling I'd highly encourage anyone in that area to go to that grease monkey or the other grease monkey that's new um, and to give your service to them you know you you are told by many people that this place or that place may be, you know, a scam or they rip people off or what that. I always say to to experience something for yourself before you take the advice of other people. Because there's tons of movies I've watched, tons of restaurants I've gone to where I've had a fantastic time, a great experience, and they've gotten terrible reviews. Now, if 99 out of 100 people give a bad review, there's probably a place that is going to probably be along those lines. But if you look at their Yelp reviews and their Google reviews, just absolutely amazing, over four stars on average. Um, and that doesn't even tell the full story, but I just wanted to, you know, encourage everybody to at least, if you're brand new, give them a shot and see what kind of service that you get.
okay? And they're not going to be perfect. You know, I was never perfect when I, I used to uh, run a shop with Garrett. You know, I'd had my days where I, uh, where I just didn't, I wasn't the best that I could have been to the customers. But um, that being said, the last thing I want to say is just using your platform. Garrett took a simple thing as a reader board and he turned it in such a positive message that thousands of people will see every day. You know, if you happen to be a celebrity and you see this video for some reason, you know, use your platform to spread love to other people. It's so easy now. If you don't have a platform, I created a platform. I didn't think I had a platform, um, but I just started posting videos. I don't know who's going to see it. I don't know the impact that they're going to have. Maybe not, maybe not in this moment, but maybe, you know, five years from now, maybe something changes over these next five years and, and these videos start to surface more. I don't know. Just because you don't get likes or comments or something doesn't mean that people haven't seen the material and it hasn't gone into their brains and into their hearts to change their chemistry. With everything that's going on in the world, create a platform. You have no reason not to. Share your voice. Your platform could be just as simply as sharing something positive with someone like my best friend's dad did when he called me and said, hey, your buddy did this wonderful thing at work I thought you should know. And now I'm making a video about it. You know, so you don't know where your words are going to take you. I highly encourage each and every one of you again, Go to the Kalispell Grease Monkey, either of them in Kalispell, Montana, or the one specifically off of US Highway 2. They deserve your business. They deserve your chance to see if they can impress you. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Please share this video with as many people as you can just because of the messages in it, but specifically if you're in Montana for that reason to help them uh, continue uh, their business thriving. All right. Thank you so much.